videotape. We begin now with a review of Ohm's Law. Here we see a current I passing through a resistor of resistance R. The voltage drop across the resistor is equal to the current through it multiplied by its resistance. The voltage drop is measured in volts, the current is measured in amperes, and electrical resistances are measured in ohms. This is Ohm's Law, and Ohm's Law can be applied to whole circuits and to parts of circuits. Here is a typical DC circuit consisting of a battery and some resistors in series and in parallel. A current I through the battery splits at this point into two branches, I1 and I2, which recombine at this point. We can apply Ohm's law to parts of this circuit. For example, the voltage across resistor R2, V2, is equal to the current I2 multiplied by R2 the voltage drop across resistor R3, V3, is equal to I, the current through it, times R3. We can also apply Ohm's law to the entire circuit. The EMF of the battery is equal to the current through the battery multiplied by the equivalent resistance of the circuit. The equivalent resistance of the circuit is the value of a resistor that will replace all of the resistors that are in series and in parallel. The value of the equivalent resistance is found by using the rules for adding resistors in series and in parallel. On this videotape, we will frequently be making use of Ohm's Law. Let us look now at our first problem. 